Hello everyone, this is Teacher Goyne. In this video, we will talk about solving multi-step equations. This one is kind of difficult compared to our previous videos, like you can see it here. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So here are the first two examples for this tutorial video, and we will solve for each equation. Number one, we are given 5x minus 1 is equal to 3x plus 2. Now, as you can see, in this kind of equation, there's a variable on the left side of the equation, and there's a variable on the right side of the equation. The question is, where are we going to put the variable x? Normally, for us people who are solving math equations, or equations, we're literally putting the variable x on the left side of the equation. So what must be done? We need to eliminate 3x here, and we will put it here on the left side of the equation. Now, to eliminate 3x, simply you need to use its inverse operation. If this is positive 3x, what we need is to subtract 3x here. Siyempre, to make it balance, we also need to subtract 3x on the left side of the equation. 3x minus 3x is 0. This is 0. Here, 5x minus 3x, that would be 2x minus 1 is equal to 5. And as you can see, this is the normal equation. We can solve this by two steps. This is minus 1. We need to add plus 1 here and also plus 1 here. So this is 0. We have 2x is equal to 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. Now, to finally solve for the value of x, divide both sides by 2, by 2. Cancel, cancel, your x is equal to 3. Now guys, if you want to check whether your answer is correct, you can do the checking by simply using the original equation and substitute the variable x, which is 3. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 2 times x minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 23. Now, the problem here is that we have a grouping symbol. So basically, we need to eliminate this by using distributive property. So we will multiply this. 2 times x, that would be 2x. This. 2 times negative 5, that is negative 10. Copy 5x plus 23. Now, we need to put all the variables here on the left side. But actually, we can also put the variables here on the left on the right side. But you again, as usual, we're doing it on the left side. So we need to eliminate this by subtracting both sides of the equation by 5. 5x rather. 0, 0. This is negative 3x, then minus 10 is equal to 23. Now, this is minus 10. We need to add both sides of the equation by 10 to eliminate negative 10. This is 0, cancel. We have negative 3x is equal to 23 plus 10, and that is 30. 3. Now, as you can see, the coefficient of x is negative 3. That would be our divisor divided by negative 3. Cancel this one. Your x is equal to negative 11. So, at first glance, it seems like our equation is difficult, but using the properties of equality, we can definitely solve this equation. Now let's go with item number 3. For number 3, this is our equation. 3 times y plus 2 plus y is equal to negative 14. So this will be simplified by distributive property. 3 times y, that is 3y. Then 3 times 2, that is plus 6. Copy plus y is equal to negative 14. This variable y is 
also on the left side of the equation. So basically, we can combine these two terms. That is 3y plus 1y. That would be 4y. And then plus 6 is equal to negative 14. Same process. This is plus 6 minus 6 minus 6. Cancel. Because that is 0. We have 4y. And on the other side, we have negative 20. So, as you can see, the coefficient of y is 4. Divide this by 4. Your y is definitely negative 5. And as you can see, guys, as simple as that, we solve a um, kind of difficult equation. But still, we are done with the variable y. So, guys, I hope you learned something from this video on how to solve multi-step equations. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!